It's here now, and now a story not for young ears. After a father in Glasgow, Montana, admitted to repeatedly raping his 12-year-old daughter, a judge sentenced him to essentially just 60 days in jail. And now 75,000 people have signed a change.org petition to demand the judge be punished. We're not saying the father's name to protect the daughter, but District Judge John McKeon also said he was protecting the victim with his ruling and pointed out that this law allows an exception to the mandatory minimum 25-year sentence for incest if the victim is 12 years or younger. But why is that, and what is this law? Montana Assistant Attorney General Dan Gonzitsky was appointed to a commission to study the law and is proposing eliminating that exception. Dan, welcome. Thank you for having me. Now, we know that this law is one of many so-called justice laws that came that terrible story of Florida, Jessica Lunsford, who was assaulted and murdered, led to the 2005 I really don't care too much about that today. That requires a mandatory I woke up or got out of my car after yeah, driving to work yesterday, two, two days after Dead Latin, where I felt fine. And my back felt, whoa. And it's been, I spent a good hour warming up today. And go very did, slow. Created a mandatory minimum uh, sentence. And probably shouldn't do it, but I'm. Situations. I seem to be okay with squatting. It's standing there with the weight, where I feel the tension. It's something to do with those hip flexors again tying into the back. Yeah, I'm gonna make it through the next two. Let's do. I have to quit. Yeah, I have no idea if I'll be ready to deadline Tuesday. Little on Monday, a day ahead. What that states is that the judge determined. There's a poll earlier this week that shows tightening. That's a Republican poll, though. So it's kind of. Right. Well, so there's another step up on the National Republican Congressional Committee, and it's a plan on advice. Yeah, they had uh, booked a, a bunch of advertising time. They, they planned to get involved in the race and, and try and give a boost to Jack Martins, and they canceled those reservations. So uh, they did not uh, actually buy those ads uh, and get involved in the race as they had originally planned. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at the Democrat. He's uh, an attorney, a certified public accountant. He was mayor of a large town, Glen Cove, in the 90s and 2001. And he featured John F. Kennedy in a recent ad. Let's listen. JFK called us to a higher purpose. To do it right beyond party politics. Standing up for the least among us. But always with an eye on the bottom line. Today that also means for clean water in the Long Island Sound. Clean energy for energy companies. Traditional for today's challenges. In Congress, I'll be a new kind of old-fashioned Democrat. Oops. What do you okay. mean by that? New kind of old-fashioned Democrat? Can you describe the House of Tomorrow for us? Uh, the House of Tomorrow, designed by uh, Chicago architect George Fred Keck. It was a very, very thinking and innovative uh, old glass house with a steel structure, uh, curtain wall, glass walls on the outside. Innovations such as a garage, you could park your car inside and hit a button and the door would go up. Dishwasher that would wash your dishes for you. And very early in the thinking about solar design. Again, this is back in the solar design of what, what, what? Jack uh, designed this house with floor to ceiling glass windows and he noticed when he was building it in the fair in 33 before it opened that the uh, workmen in Chicago in the winter were in their shirt sleeves, which is in Chicago in the winter is a little novel, and uh, began to realize that that passive solar design could heat a house and uh, worked with that throughout his career and that goes all the way back to his work at the uh, House of Tomorrow and, and the fact that he designed this innovation of the house with a steel structure and curtain walls of glass. Still like the house of tomorrow. Yeah. A couple of those reps were okay where I didn't go onto my toes and I didn't stick my butt back and didn't felt deeper. I know the height is bad. I just desperate not to really hurt myself.